Hey, my name's Phil. And I've been living in a 4x4 truck camper for the last five years while making videos of other quality off-road campers that I think are down to mob. What's up, everyone? Well, we're here today in Pennsylvania with Ross and Mandy. Mandy, yeah. <laughs> and uh, we're at Snap Outfitters checking out your guys' campers. Yeah, thanks for coming. Yeah. yeah Your yeah. rig is pretty sick. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Super sick. Thanks. Yeah. yeah I just rolled in. I was like, <laughs> Yeah, a little different composite. You know, it's uh, it's fun to, to have it on the West Coast and bring it over here east. And, yeah, most people haven't seen that for sure. Yeah, meeting so many new people. So, yeah, we're excited to check out your stuff. We're in your shop right now where you build these, right? So, how long have you guys been here? We've been here since uh, 2021, June. June yeah, so I see some of the production process. That's like your roof over there. Um, but yeah, what do we got going on here? This is a little rooftop tent kind of too that you're coming out with. We haven't done this yet. This is just like a trial run. See how this goes. Uh, rooftop tent. It uh, basically fits an X-Ped mattress pretty well. Um, yeah, I love seeing that raw aluminum. They're all powder coated, you know, the finished product, but. I would love to keep them shiny aluminum, but honestly, we have to give the, the powder coat something to bite to, so we kind of just go over and sand everything while it's still flat metal, basically. So yeah. that's why you see it all toothed up like that. But this is a pretty custom one. He's got some pretty cool ideas that he wanted to happen. Like here, he's gonna have a slide out kitchen. And this just says his man door to get in the back. This is something we, we were gonna build for him. Has some weird window locations. and. We dig it because it's asymmetrical. It's a little bit different than our norm. Yeah. Pretty cool. We like it. Yeah, and that's what's neat. Like a lot of campers, you kind of just get what you get. Maybe a few different options. But you guys do a lot more custom, like an inch here, make it exactly what people want, yeah, which is cool. To, just trying to make people happy. Yeah. As best as we can. Whether it happens or not, we, we try. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, you're, it looks like a solid, solid product. So you've got two here then what are these are different this one looks bigger here oh, yeah, the is, full size this is a new one that this first one we've tried to do this is uh basically fits a queen size mattress it's uh it's significantly large because it's like i don't know if this will get you a good gauge but that's about as big as i am yeah and then this one here not so much this is the standard tree house this is what it started as basically uh, this one's for tacoma has a little bit different at leg angle in like a full size truck basically but we basically took this angle and put uh put the same angle on the big tree house that holds the queen size mattress and made it all work nice it's huge yeah the we'll go in the the full size peek in there for a moment but yeah i really like uh the bed strut system you guys have got going on so i can just push it out of the yeah, way right, push right on up. yeah look at that nice soft but very quickly up out of the way. Yep. Yeah, that's awesome. And then all carpeted and finished up, so. That's a nice option. I, I think it really closes in the, the feel of the, of the tree house than just having it bare metal, basically. Yeah. Obviously powder coated, but with the carpet, it just makes it look that much better, we think. Yeah, that's nice to have the option to do, you know, yeah, whatever size kind of gull wings or whatever you whatever you call them there. You do pass-throughs to the truck too? Is that kind of a thing? We, we've had people ask about that. No one's ever yeah. really pulled through on that. It's mm -hmm. something we've entertained the idea to do, but mm -hmm. we've just never done it before. Yeah. Nice, yeah, that would be cool. And then the, are these turn overland windows? Or? They are. Yeah, love that. Yeah, we started offering those and uh, people are loving them, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it just takes the whole thing to a new, new level, basically. The quality of those is super good, so. Yeah, and I think it, it matches our our design really well, too, yeah. so it looks nice. <laughs> yeah, I love the turn overland windows. Those are actually made in Prescott, Arizona, kind of my Ooh, home yeah. turf area, <laughs> yeah. so. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and I got those in my camper, and I mean. I did see that, yeah, I saw yours. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're awesome with the blackout shades and then the bug screens and all that. Totally worth the price, yes. in yeah. my opinion. <laughs> yeah, for sure. They make They look really good on the. The outside too, so that's nice. Yeah. It's nice that they make it like so many different sizes. We can really mm -hmm. kind of, um, you know, custom order in one that that fits nicely in in uh, in the design. So like a lot of the times these will be different sizes depending on the size of the truck. 
so we can size those accordingly, mm -hmm. which is perfect. They give the whole cut dimensions on their website. Yep. <laughs> uh, makes my life easier. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, the turn overland windows are always good. And then, like, some L track roof rack stuff you got going on here. Yep, I that's, like that. That's standard. Uh, yeah. I guess you could put a Sully on there, whatever you want to put on. People can still the Kryax at the top there. That's what we mount our solar panels to. It, it just makes life a little bit easier with that sort of thing automotive and yeah, racing and things right that's actually uh we share space with a guy that does some car stuff so that's that's mostly his stuff nice i do have some of my toys here but that's just for you know for me to play with sometimes <laughs> yeah Coffee absolutely stuff. yeah nice get to live vicariously through I him <laughs> doing dyno tuning and then we get to listen to him tuning and yeah. <laughs> nice I figured I'd bring it up because people always go in the comments like, hey, wait, what's with that? Yeah, you know? <laughs> a lot of times I'll post on social media and I'll see, you know, his MR2 in the back. I'm like, but I want to know about that MR2. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a secret. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Well, awesome. So, yeah, thank you guys for having us at the, the open house. Yeah, Appreciate you your coming. comments. It's been, sure. yeah, it's been a, yeah, it's been a good time meeting you and uh, seeing the community here a little more. So. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, and you guys are on social media and. Yep, just Snap Outfitters uh, for Instagram, Facebook, and then SnapOutfitters.com for the website. So easy peasy. She talks to everyone. That's her. Yep, thing. that's me. I talk to everybody. It comes through. So if you're talking to someone from Snap, it's her. Yep. Awesome. <laughs> cool. Awesome. And what's the? I guess I should ask. What's the like? Do you have a base price on? Um, yes. So the, for the, the different the models. Um, it starts at twelve thousand uh, two hundred and ninety nine, um, so basically thirteen grand, and mm -hmm. goes up depending on custom options. Mm -hmm. um, so base would just be no windows at all. Um, so basically, what you see here, just with no windows, it does come standard with the T tracks, um, and then carpet is extra, insulation is extra, and all that. So. All that's listed on the website. It is, and she did a really good job putting that website together. So. <laughs> makes it easy for people to see yeah <laughs> nice well cool checking them out yeah thank you guys for yep. for thank showing you. us and Appreciate yeah you guys definitely comment let us know what you think check out you know the website and socials there if you want to see more and uh hit the like if you enjoyed the video you <laughs> we'll guys <do> yeah <laughs> yes thank you <laughs> you guys definitely seem like you're down to mob Hell yes so Hell the yeah. only <laughs> the only question is are you down to mob <laughs>